Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit. In this Azure Data Factory Master Program video series. So in today's session, we will be talking on hands-on lab. We will see how to create multiple ggp files because as you know, for each source single file, we need to create a corresponding ggp file because ggp file will not support the multiple files, okay? So you cannot able to combine the multiple files and create a ggp, that is not possible. So for each individual file, we need to create a corresponding ggp file. That's why I'll take the two CSV files and we will see if you run a pipeline, what pipeline does is instead of creating a single ggp file, it will create the multiple ggp file. Similarly, if you look at the single ggp file, why I mentioned single zip file, if you have a 10 different CSV files or 20 C uh, different CSV files, if you try to create a single zip file, it will create a single zip file by combining everything, all the files into a single file and it will load it. But when you try same thing with a uh, ggp, it will not work. Okay. When you try same thing with the ggp, that will not work. ggp, what it does is for each file, the corresponding ggp file, it will uh, create. So total, we are going to follow 16 steps to complete this particular. Very interesting. You can see this. So prerequisites, as you know, in all our previous sessions, so we were using two storage accounts. One is for source blob, one is for sync blob. Then one data factory in that we are using Azure integration runtime. Then uh, linked services two, data sets two, one activity, copy activity, and pipeline is ingestion pipeline I am using. So steps, as you know, I'll be creating three resources, source blob, sync blob, and ADF. Uh, so then inside the source blob, I'll create a folder called cust in that I'll upload the two CSV files. Uh, then I'll be like um, in the target side when we look at the target folder in target folder, what will happen is so it will be converting these two CSV files into the cust so 2csvgz cust 3csvgz because that's how the things will work. So we will see that. Next, we need to open the Azure Data Factory Studio. Once we have opened the Azure Data Factory Studio, I'll create a two linker service, two data sets, and one pipeline. In that particular pipeline, I'll be using the copy act to I'll configure source and sync. So this time, so source side, we have the individual CSV file. Sync side, we are going to create the zip file, ggp, right? ggp, all those things. So at the sync side, 15th step, if you see, sync side data set side, we need to make these configuration changes. What are those things? The compression type you need to choose whether you want to create a .ggp or .zip, what type of compression you want to configure. That is the first thing you need to do. Second is, is fastest or optimal. As I discussed yesterday, fastest means if you want the time save, you need to go for the fastest. If you want to go for optimal means if you have a if you want to save the storage, then you can go for the optimal. Okay. So once everything is set up, then we can go and run our pipeline. That is a 16th step. So there are two scenarios today also. I'll first show you how to create the ggp file. Right. So we will see how to create the ggp file and extract the. Uh, so basically, we will create the ggp file. Extraction already we discussed. Okay. So what we will do. So we have a CSV files. So with this, I'll uh, try to create the ggp with the optimal. So you can see for each single CSV file, the corresponding ggp file is creating. Okay. So this is how for each CSV file, corresponding ggp file will be created if you are using the compression type is ggp. So let's move on to the zip one. Okay. So how to create zip file? If you see multiple CSV files will be there. I'll say zip with fastest. So it will just create the custard zip. One more thing. So if you are giving the single file name custard zip, it will create with your own name. If you are not giving the name of the zip, it, no problem. It will take its own name and it will create the zip file. So I'll just show you both. Okay. So let's start with our lab. So total, as I mentioned, 16 steps we need to follow. Step one is we need to create this short storage. I'm logging into the my pay as you go subscription account. So as you know, click on storage accounts, create storage account. So I'll be creating a group called Cloud Pandit iPhone Dev iPhone RG. Click OK. So storage name is I'll say Cloud Pandit the source block one. Then just click review plus create.
your validation passed, you can create it. Again, open the sec uh, second tab to create your second storage. Okay. So step one is completed. We have 15 more steps. So let me do the second step that is creation of the sync storage, create storage account. Just click review plus create. So running final validation created. So again, I'm opening the third tab. I'm opening the third tab. So the third step is we need to create the Azure Data Factory. Let me quickly create the Data Factory. We go to Data Factories, create Data Factory. So same resource group. You can say Cloud Fund with AD of V2 1508. Just click Review plus Create. Click create. So once the three steps are completed, so okay. So once three steps completed, so what are the remaining things that we need to do? So whether you wash, okay. So if you look at the steps, right? We created the these three. Now we need to go to source blog. We need to create a container and upload data. We need to go to the sync and we need to create the respective containers. Okay. Let's move on to the source blog. Create the sync. Let's create the go to containers. Let's create a container. This is just you can say input or you can say cast. Create it. Okay, inside cast. I'll just upload. You can just upload as many as you want. Not an issue. Okay. Maybe you want to load from here to here all the files you want to create and just upload all these four files. First, let's try to create the GZIP. Okay, ggp okay so source files all the plain csv files are uploaded at the source side sync said i'll be creating the our sync container click container called cast out create it so inside cast out if you see you don't have anything okay so total five steps completed sixth step is open adf create two linker service two data sets okay let's complete till the tenth step so come to the data factory open as your data factory so we can see this the data factory is opening now it is open now go to manage tab let's create a two link services so i click new so blob storage so the link services ls for ls for blob one come down select subscription select storage name is source blob one push to connection create it let's create a another blob so you can say ls for block two ls for block two come down use the subscription storage account name is sync block test connection created so two linked services is done let's go and create the two data sets this is new data set for the blob select blob csv you can just take anything you can have the ds underscore blob one okay, blob one blob one is not, nothing but our source okay inside cast i'll just point in the cast okay click okay so because i just wanted to use the wildcard file path as we have multiple files i need to read at the source side again sync set data set also we are using the blob only ds for blob two This is a linked service for block two. So you can just browse it, select cast out, click OK, click OK. So two data sets are done. Now, if you see next, we need to create a pipeline that activity copy activity drag source and sync data sets. Let's come here, new pipeline. 
in this bring the copy data activity you can just call this as a el4 data ingestion maybe you can say daily something like this you can bring the copy data activity what is your source your source is blog so which is pointed to the folder you can choose the wild next what is your sync sync is block two so which is pointed to what which is pointed to customer now what is the exact thing that we wanted to do at the 15th step is at the sync data set side we need to choose compression type and the compression optimization uh, option fastest or optimal okay let's go and choose those things open this ds blob two in that come down compression type okay compression type is as i mentioned dot g zip and the compression level is fastest or optimal let's go with the optimal okay so once you have configured this the last and 16th step is just to debug this let's see for each single csv file the corresponding g zip file it is going to create but it is not going to create the single g zip file okay you can also see that particular uh, number of files read and written same number will be there four files read four files written okay because because this is something which is uh, very common used that's why we have taken okay so you can see here so all the for each file the corresponding ggip file is created so let's take a same example now to create the zip file so what zip file does okay so i am just deleting the sync side data but source side i am keeping the same files if you want to add more files you can feel free to add now come to the pipeline so source side same data source side same data all the files i need to pick sync side only i need to make a change i'll just open the sync instead of gz can you create zip file for me okay and this time can you create fastest quickly or you can just say doesn't matter which one you are taking you can take anything maybe you will think optimal means it is creating a multiple files or fastest means it is creating single file no okay so i'll keep the same option if you have such type of doubts you can just debug now now you can see yeah, as i am not giving the zip file name so it will create its own zip file okay it will create its own zip file we can able to see that okay now if we come out refresh it you can see single zip file you may have doubt earlier we have for each file the corresponding zip but it's a single zip does it really have all the files let's download all right said so download this okay once this is downloaded let me open this okay let me open this and let me see see under this when it is downloaded you can see the downloaded is just 1057 1057 if you go inside zip you can see all this this is a zip so how to extract zip so uh, as we have seen now from the adf how to extract yesterday let me show you now how to extract this okay data underscore test under data underscore test folder i upload i just extracted now you can see all the files data underscore test folder we can able to see all the four files that we have at the source side okay so not only this this is not limited here so as i mentioned if you want to like point out hey you just create a custard.zip yeah you just give custard.zip so now you run your pipeline you can just see custard.zip file it is going to custard.zip file it is going to create custard.zip file it is going to create okay let's see that and let's come to the output refresh this now you can see custard.zip okay so if you download this file and check it you will see the same result if you download this file and see the result uh, see you will be able to see the same results okay let's open this okay now you see under custard.zip on the custard.zip you are able to see only these four files okay that's all team let's quickly see the summary questions and uh, we will close for the day okay 
when transferring data using the azure data factory copy activity what is the primary difference between fastest and optimal compression as we discussed fastest to prioritize the quick data transfer optimal aims to achieve the smallest compressed files is the answer c is correct in azure data factory copy active when should you choose optimal compression setting over the fastest setting optimal means when you want to achieve the highest compression efficiency and the optimized storage space option d is correct which of the following compression format is lossless as you know lossless is gzip which of the following format is lossy it is a lossy is zip so here one second the for the answer for question number 3 is b answer for question number 4 is a next which of the following is primarily used for compressing and archiving multiple files into a single file uh, multiple files into a single file zip as we just discussed which compression format is more suitable for compressing a single file gzip because gzip is just uh, compressing the single file whereas uh, whereas uh, gp is compressing the multiple files okay i request all of you to subscribe and support me to do more videos thank you for watching this particular video thank you thank you